when I play some of my famous British Forces strategies, it's a very common question I receive, why don't I use the Vickers K light machine gun, whether that be on the raid section, the upgrade on the assault officer, or from the M3 resupply half track. The short answer to that question is because it is bugged. When the Vickers K LMG got redesigned back in the June 2021 patch, it was altered in performance to be more similar to the US Forces bar. And that means strong firing on the move performance with a moving accuracy value of 60% mentioned in the patch notes. However, if we take a look in the game files, you can see that the moving accuracy value is only 25% a massive reduction in the Vickers K's firing on the move performance. Now you may still not be convinced by these numbers, so I decided to do some in-game testing as well to really put it to rest, comparing the Vickers K to its better brother, the US Forces Bar. The testing looked like this. I had a Volkswagen Deer start 10 range ahead of an assault officer carrying the Vickers. I ordered them both to move to the capture point in the middle of the map, and once the Fox Grenadiers had run for 10 range, I switched them to become an enemy. And at the other end, once the Vickers wielding unit had reached the stopping point, I would delete it, and then tally up the damage they dealt using the health table. I did this 10 times with the Vickers, and 10 times with the bar. Taking a look at the results from that testing, the Vickers K does around half the damage of the bar. So its moving performance does appear to be severely compromised by that mistake. As a point of comparison, I also did a few tests with the raid section, since they can upgrade to the double Vickers K. I only did six tests, but you can see the Vickers K is actually a slight downgrade when it comes to moving performance over the regular rifle that the raid section has. The Vickers K will certainly be much stronger than the Enfield when the squad is stationary, but if you want to be strong at firing while stationary, you might as well go for double brains instead. And I think that raid sections with double brands are actually very good. Partially because they don't have any penalties when they are out of cover like regular sections do. So in a long range out of cover fight against LMG Grenadiers, the raid sections win 100% of the time with around 40% of their health remaining. In a long range out of cover fight, the raid sections have a slight edge over the regular sections even though they have been bolstered. This is largely because the raid sections have slightly better veterancy bonuses. So when combined with the out of cover penalty the regular section experiences, this is enough to overcome the reduced long range DPS of the raid sections rifle compared to the regular sections rifle. However if you repeat that fight but now with both units in heavy cover, now the regular section wins by a similar margin to what the raid section won when it was out of cover. Raid sections cannot build sandbags or trenches, so their access to cover will be more limited in the late game, though they can build mines instead, which are also very valuable. So double Bren raid sections are no joke, and I encourage you to try them out for yourself. I saw the Sapper Vickers K was still listed in the game files. So I did a few tests with them as well to see if they were still using their old weapon or the new reworked one. After 5 tests their numbers appeared to be almost identical to the Vickers K on the officer that we tested earlier, so they also are impacted by this mistake. So if you were planning to make the heavy sappers a large portion of your fighting force, you may want to reconsider, though I still think the upgrade is very much worth getting. A huge thank you goes out to my Patreon backers, and if you like videos like this, I hope you consider coming on board.